Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I'm actually going to show you how to remedy a uh, cookie issue that sometimes um, I guess renders itself an issue for you in terms of trying to log into your WordPress website. And so uh, for this I'll be using uh, kickstart com as the test site and I'm already logged into the WordPress um, to the WordPress admin area so one of the things to start is you can clear your cookies I'm using um, so Safari and so if you go to history and then show all history um, then you'll basically be able to see uh, history for pretty much beginning of the time and it'll show you different addresses and the different items that are there uh, if you click the history button then it will show this box that will basically allow you to remove related cookies and so a lot of times um, I don't necessarily know if it's a a WordPress issue where it's uh, something on WordPress is in and cookies it may be that you may not have cookies enabled um, but nevertheless, either way, I can show you how to do this. You can basically click clear and it'll clear all the cookies out. And then um, if you try to go back and log into WordPress and you're still unable to uh, get logged in successfully, then um, you'll want to try this next method. So the first method is try to clear out your history here. Uh, the next method that you will want to focus on will be logging in into your WordPress theme. So for me, um, I'm already in the dashboard. You will go to appearance and then you can have, a lot of times if your files are editable, you can have an edit, um, it'll say editor there. I don't just because I lock my files down um, just for you know proper security measures. And so um, it would have editor there. If so, go to editor and then on the right hand side it would basically show you a functions file for your um, active theme. So I'm just going to go there so I can see, okay, I have 2016 active in my C panel, uh, which I already have open. So from the very uh, home um, root directory, you'll want to go to public HTML then it'll show you this folder you'll want to double click go to WP content and this is all from your web host providers file manager um, you can do this by uh, FTP as well once you get into the public underscore HTML HTML uh, slash WP dash content then you'll want to go to themes folder then you'll want to select the appropriate theme my theme that was active was 2016 Go into 2016. 2016 has a functions file. We want to open this functions file with the editor. I'll just go ahead and click edit. And then what we'll do is bring in, so now that we have this file open, um, you can go all the way to the very end of the file, click enter a couple times. And then what I'm going to do is bring up the code that we are going to discuss. So in PHP, you have a method that's called set cookie, which defines a cookie to be sent along uh, with the rest of the HTTP headers when a page is loaded and when used. Um, so oftentimes a cookie is, I, is often used to identify a user. So let's say you log in, you know, basically it's a small file that uh, is placed on your computer that identifies you. And so each time you uh, reload a web browser page, um, the cookie is sent so that it identifies you. So um, think in terms of just a simple login. If a cookie's placed on your, um, if a cookie's placed on your computer, then every time you send that page, it takes and identifies you and says, "Yes, you are who you are." That being said, we're going to basically set up a a test cookie, and so these are basically defined WordPress variables, the ones that are in yellow. So you can essentially copy this code um, and actually only copy what I have highlighted there. And if you need to to uh, see it, let's see if I cannot get um, get it to enlarge itself a bit here. And so this is the code that you will want to use. So the the interesting thing about the um, 
the cookie is that the first name is a required name, which is the name of the cookie. And like I said, that this is just a WordPress um, variable. The next side of that is actually the name's value. Um, it can you can put any value in there. I just chose to put this value there. This next value is the expire. Um, so you can set this to expire uh, at the end of the session, basically when the browser closes. By default, it is always set to zero. Or you could come in and, for instance, um, knowing a bit of PHP, you could come in and type, you know, hey, I want this cookie to expire, uh, let's see, 30 days, um, 30 days from now. And so that's the 86,400, that's the number of seconds in a day times 30, and basically add that to the current time in seconds, and that's how you get 30 days from now. For now, we'll set it to zero. The next is the cookie path, um, and so it can be set to slash to say that you want it for the entire domain, or if you have different folders, you can actually come in and set you know, things like this. If you had a PHP folder, you could set it to be that. Um, but for this, what we'll do is go back and just set it to the cookie path. Uh, and then the final thing is just the cookie domain. So it could be your site. Um, you know, it could be uh, kickstart.com, test.com. That could be the domain. Next, we use an if statement just to compare the two values, the site cookie path. If, they're not equal, if it is not equal to the cookie path, then we go in and we set uh, this cookie. And so um, that's how you're able to remedy that. So you take this code and we'll highlight it. And you'll take this, copy it. And then once you copy it, you will go into the functions.php file of your active folder. You will set the cookie, uh, basically set the code in there as the very last couple of lines. You will save it. I'm not going to save it uh, just because I don't necessarily need it for this one, um, this site. But you would save it, close it. Um, yes, I want to proceed without changes. And once you save it, then you should be able to actually go to your website, uh, go to your admin portal, and successfully log in. Um, let me know if you have any issues uh, with logging in. I'd be glad to help you. Feel free to drop me a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the Kickstart Commerce YouTube channel. And last but not least, please visit us at kickstartcommerce.com and uh, come find and learn about search marketing and domain ideas for uh, businesses. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks.